Hello, everybody, and welcome to LaChamba.com. I am Neil Rodriguez. I had a bit of a headache yesterday, but now I'm all doped up on Arnica, so it's all gravy. I'm ready to start to report on all the layoffs on the job market, I'm ready to start to give my tips. So, news of the day, a lot of governors are rejecting the stimulus money from the recovery plan to hike up unemployment benefits by $25. They're stating that once the stimulus money runs out, they'll to start to tap into state funds and they'll start to have to tax employers and tax employees. So, I mean, I for one, I'm an employee. I'm a W-2 right now. I work for somebody. I'm with it. Tax me. If it's going to help somebody increase their margin of error, give them $25 that they could use towards putting food on the table, then absolutely, because I know it's hard out there. I know it's hard when you do, not, you do not have a job. I mean, it's hard when you have a job, and, you know, if you are out of work, it's got to be hard enough. That's a, one of the primary stressors. A lot of people are feeling a lot of fear, but don't feel any fear. Remember, fear is only false emotions appearing real. <clears throat> Excuse me. Don't have any fear. Go for it. You know, keep sending out those resumes. Keep your head up. Like I said, one of the best stress relievers, one of the ways that I blow off steam is working out. I also get a lot of inspiration while I'm working out because your mind, it vibrates quicker while you are exercising. So remember that. Keep that in play. You feel sharp, feel tight, and you stay sharp. You express yourself articulately. So Fortune Off here in New York, I think they laid off about 300 people. I'm not sure if it was only in the New York area, but I read an article where they laid off 300 people, a lot of them corporate personnel. My career counselor, Barry Cohen, He's handling a lot of these cases, a lot of people that are being laid off from Fortune Off, so he's got a good handle on this vertical. Give him a call. You could reach me. You know where to get me. I am, or wherever, if you're from Fortune Off, he's got a good handle on that vertical. He can help you out. He does professional writing services and everything of that sort. I spoke to him today. That's how I got that information. He'll be speaking. I think he's opening for Susie Orman in April. I'll be there, possibly. Hopefully, everything goes well with that. And... In order, with you know, it's just about getting people to work, getting people cutting the employment rate one job at a time. All right, so like I said, Fortune Off just got a bunch of uh, just got a number of layoffs, and I was at a chat session today. I think it was with Adweek Media Connect. It's a new social network that came out for advertising professionals. A lot of people were asking questions in regards to how to craft their resume. A lot of people have been out of work for about ten years' time. Typically. You use, you craft your resume in a format called the functional resume that lists a profile of your work experience, of your skills and qualifications, of your background. A profile. Try to always use a chronological or reverse chronological resume when possible. A functional resume should be only used when you have big gaps such as, such as those. I saw a good example of a functional resume in the Killer Cover Letters book by Barry Cohen. And I had a nice example where he takes a housewife, takes all her experience as a housewife, lists how much money she saved, how she delegated responsibility amongst, amongst the kids, and she put solid numbers, he put solid numbers next to every accomplishment and showed how all these skills can be transferred towards the workforce, towards the, uh, to the, towards the position for which she was applying. So it's very interesting. If you pick up the book, you will see it. A lot of people giving tips, something to the effect that you should only have a one-page resume. My resume is two pages, I think. I believe it's two pages. I'm not sure because I haven't printed it out lately. I mean, I typically send it out in electronic format, so I don't know how many how many pages it constitutes. But I'm, uh, I'm pretty sure it's about two to three pages. And it lists all the accomplishments that are relevant to the position for which I am applying, or the position for which I am aspiring to which I am aspiring so I mean just ensure that it has relevant experience relevant experience relevant to the position for which you are applying that the career objective is the position is the title of the position for which you are applying all right there's no there are no hard line facts no stringent rules in regards to crafting your resume crafting your cover letter no matter what I say no matter what the career counselor next door says there are no way, there's no one way to do it. Whatever works, works. Whatever works for you, works. If something doesn't work for you, then you try something different. 
All right, it's a matter of trial and error. That's how I've found. Even I've never followed one one way of doing things. Even in my job, I, as I've said before, I'm an online marketer, and no one path to success. No one way to put a website on a front page of Google.com is the way that's going to work for me. I've taken bits and pieces from a lot of different strategies. I've experimented with strategies that I think may work. If they work, I keep doing them until they work, and then when they stop working, I try something else. Same thing goes for the job search. To keep trying different things. You have to become Tom Edison. Remember Thomas Edison. I look up to him because, I mean, to run 10,000 experiments in order to find an incandescent light bulb, that's something that I don't know if I'll ever do in my lifetime. Okay, so I, I look up to that. All right, I see that as, a, as, as something to, to really look up to that. I mean, even though he's dead and it's happened centuries ago, he's a role model. I mean, he's someone that I definitely look up to, at least for the rest of my life. I thank you for watching. My name is Neil Rodriguez. Until next time, have a great week.